I remember the moment when my brain registered the concept of true crime. And it was, like many other people, I assume, when Netflix's Making a Murder was released in 2015. Since then, there has been a massive explosion of true crime content, from Wild Wild Country to Tiger King to now this year's Dahmer. True crime is really having a big moment in the film and TV industry. It seems like the genre simply has no bounds, and that sometimes regardless of the production quality, audiences will still watch whatever true crime is put in front of them. This massive interest in the genre is what I'd like to call the true crime bubble, similar to a housing bubble, which is when the demand for houses keep going up, causing an increase in house prices right up to the point when the market completely crashes because no one can afford a house anymore. In this true crime bubble that we're in, instead of houses, audiences have a seemingly unstoppable demand for true crime content. In fact, upon release, most true crime films and series stay in Netflix's top 10 for weeks, significantly surpassing the average demand for most content releases in the market. When studios are looking at those numbers, they see that true crime is probably a safe bet, and so they decide to make more true crime films, which further increases interest in these shows. But just like the housing bubble, demand in true crime isn't going to last forever, and at some point, this bubble will most definitely burst. It's not going to be the first genre bubble to have ever burst, because other genre bubbles have burst before, like with slasher films in the late 1990s and the rom-com genre in the early 2000s. But I think we're very close to being at the peak of the true crime bubble, and that we're most likely on the verge of another genre bubble burst. The controversies around Netflix's latest true crime show Dahmer is an indicator of the wavering peak the true crime genre currently stands on. The recent backlash from victims and the changing of public opinion show that audiences are increasingly critical and aware of how the true crime genre is making crime a spectacle. True crime is not fiction. The stories are about real crimes that have happened, and therefore also about very real victims. But in the past, many of the stories have focused on the killer and glossed over the lives of the real people that were affected. Now, people are starting to criticize and take a stance against distasteful treatment of victim stories, which will challenge the future of the true crime genre. And so, instead, the industry has turned to other stories about crime, ones that don't dive into the upbringing and mind of a killer. What we have turned to instead are other types of criminals, the con artist. With the likes of The Dropout, We Crashed, and Inventing Anna, this feels like the year of the con artist. All pretty much following the same formula. You have the rise of these determinedly manipulative and opportunistic people who end up lying to get to the top before the lies become too much to handle, and it all ends in shambles. From the regular true crime programming to these new inspired by real life con artist dramas, what this year has really proven to me is that there is simply crime everywhere. From restaurants, to therapy, to co-working, I am getting a bit tired of finding crime everywhere. Which brings me to the biggest reason why I believe we're on the brink of the true crime bubble burst. Hope. October 2022 was a pretty chaotic month. Here in the UK, our Prime Minister of six weeks resigned, the Russia-Ukraine war is still going on, my energy bill keeps increasing, and it feels like groceries have practically doubled in price. As dramatic as it sounds, nothing in the world seems to be going right, and none of it seems to be improving. In times like these, I certainly don't want to watch content about a serial killer or watch a story about greedy, fraudulent behavior, because true crime and con artist stories just keep hammering home the lack of hope in the world. And although this is a very subjective feeling, from conversations with friends and family, I'm not the only one who wants a bit of hopeful content these days. I believe the true crime bubble will burst because as we continue moving towards or deeper into a recession, we will want to watch something that can instill a sense of hope at a time when all hope seems lost. And hope doesn't come in the form of this, or this, or this. Hope comes in the form of stories about human grit and connection and about people and communities who make the world a safer, happier, and more inspiring place to live in. 
That's why the true crime bubble will burst, because we all need some hope.